Question number four. Scientists often disagree about how to interpret data. Additional data can often help them agree on the conclusion. The Curtis Shapley debate was an example of a disagreement. Additional evidence from Edwin Hubble resolved this problem. Use this example to show how scientists can disagree about how to interpret data until more evidence resolves the problem. Let's first of all begin by outlining the Curtis Shapley debate. Both scientists were observing a spiral nebula. They had very different interpretations of what it was. Curtis said it was a distant group of stars, millions of stars. Outside the Milky Way. Galaxy. Shapley, however, argued that actually it wasn't a distant group of billions of stars, but a dust cloud within the Milky Way. Actually, the Milky Way is all that there is in the universe. The data that they had available to them at the time couldn't rule between them on this matter. However, Edwin Hubble came along and used new technology to measure the distance To the nebula using Cepheid variable stars. He determined that the distance was much greater than anything in the Milky Way. Therefore, Curtis is correct.